Suppose that n is a positive integer, like 1, 2, 3, etc. What is the limit of e to the x over x to the n as x goes to infinity? If we try to just plug infinity in, of course, we get the indeterminate form of infinity over infinity, since e to the infinity is infinity and infinity to the n is infinity. Since we get an indeterminate form, we may consider applying L'Hopital's rule. Applying L'Hopital's rule, we would take the derivative of the numerator, which is just e to the x, and the derivative of the denominator. So we would use the power rule and get n times x to the n minus 1. Now we see if we plug in infinity now, we still get the indeterminate form infinity over infinity. Let's assume that n is at least 2, otherwise this exponent would be 0, and we could evaluate the limit at this point, because it would just be e to the x over n, which clearly goes to infinity as x goes to infinity. But seeing as we're still stuck at an indeterminate form, we may apply L'Hopital's rule again. In fact, we may notice that if we apply the rule exactly n minus 1 more times, the x in the denominator will be gone, because if we apply the power rule n minus 1 more times to this function, we're going to have an exponent of 0, and x to the 0 is just 1. Now right now we have this n as a factor. If we applied the power rule to this again, which would come from doing L'Hopital's rule again, we would have this exponent n minus 1 drop down as a factor. The new exponent would then be n minus 2, and we might apply L'Hopital's rule again, requiring us to take another derivative, and then we'd have to multiply by that exponent, n minus 2. And this would continue, it would end up just being a factorial, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3, and so on, until we get to the last step where the exponent becomes 0. So if we apply L'Hopital's rule n minus 1 more times, at each step we'd still have an indeterminate form, because it would just be e to the x divided by a bunch of junk times x to some power, so it'd still be infinity over infinity. But if we apply L'Hopital's rule n minus 1 more times, we would arrive at this as our final expression. Keep in mind that we've applied L'Hopital's rule now n times total, the first time, and then n minus 1 more times. So after all of that, we'd have x to the 0, which is why you see no x in the denominator, but we would have had all of those reducing exponents getting multiplied by each other, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, and so on, all the way down to 1, which is n factorial, and this limit is very easy to evaluate. The limit of e to the x over n factorial as x goes to infinity, has to be infinity. n factorial indeed could be quite large, but no matter how big it is, it's fixed, and e to the x will get arbitrarily large as x goes to infinity. Hence, for any positive integer n, a limit of this form is equal to infinity. In fact, the limit equals infinity no matter what n is, but this justification specifically only applies for positive integers n. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.